Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana, and we are in Toto Village in the Ice Country. That's what this village is called, Toto Village. Alright, we have a bunch of walruses here. Let's see what they know. A strange old man in the ice forest. Hmm, let's go investigate soon. Paradise is hidden in the crystal... something. <laughs> Anything in this house? Nope! How did these walruses build these houses like this? Maybe they paid someone to come and build them for them. I'm the town blacksmith. Who's this creep? Oh, Watts. Yeah, the thing about Watts is... Like his sprite? We can't really see from looking to the side. I mean, you can tell that. He's just a guy wearing a, like a, a bull's skull on his head. When he's facing towards you, I always thought that, like, his head was inside the bull's skull. Like, his eyes would be, his eyesight would be coming through the eye sockets of the bull there. But no, he's just wearing it as a hat. Alright, and here we have the store of Toto Village, and we got a pretty good armor up right now, so let's take advantage of it. If you go to Kakara first, you won't be able to get this armor right away. But, uh, yeah, it's no real big deal if you don't, if you take that path. And do I want Tiara or Raccoon Cup? I usually want the one that's more expensive, that means it has higher defense. And the armor's starting to get a little bit expensive here, but anyway. I'm gonna buy some Fairy Walnuts. What these do is they restore 50 MP. So they're like the ethers of the scale. No, I'm done with you, Mr. Walrus Salesman. And well, let's equip our new stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good defense increase. And make sure you get this stuff because there's some pretty nasty enemies coming up in the ice country. Nice little raccoon cap. Alright, there we go. So, let's head out into the ice country. Now, the first enemies we'll meet out here are the Great Wolves. They can be pretty nasty, but... Or Howlers, I guess. Not Great Wolves. They can be pretty nasty because they're very, very fast. And they can do pretty good damage on you sometimes. But these guys are really, really good experience. I mean, you can just stick around here a few minutes and gain a couple levels or so. I think they give you 240 experience per one that you knock out. So this is one of the areas I like to maybe gain a few levels at. And actually, this is probably my favorite place to grind out my magic. At least for the first, I don't know, 75% of the game. Another good place is uh, the Wind Palace. Because I didn't really mention it at that time, but inside the Wind Palace, your weapons are out, so... If the girl does her support magic, her grinds out her support magic there, she'll gain full experience, whereas if it's, say, in an inn or something like that, where your weapons are sheathed, you'll only gain half the experience per spell. And let's see what we get here. Candy! Yay! Aww. Well, candies aren't too useful at this point in the game. They only recover 100 health. Ah, uh, and these guys can use speed down. Ow. See, so you can take a beating from these guys. But they are pretty easy. They're easy enough. They don't have high defense, they don't have high evade or anything like that. So it's easy to get your licks on, in on them. And here's... No. Rudolph... Come on. Ugh. Well, 
You know where this is leading. Ooh, spear sword. I think I'm gonna hold out on upgrading my spear because I like the balloon. Uh, the ballooning enhancement of this spear that I have now. I'll upgrade it so late, sooner or later. here too, apparently. Yeah, if you're gonna grind out some levels up here, just stick to the first screen after Toto Village. It's only, um, howlers in that screen, so... No pebblers to take five minutes to kill each one. And here we have Cannon Travel. If you want to go back to the, to the Upper Land or... Well, I guess Mantango. If you want to go back to Mantango or Katara, just go to that cannon travel center. So if you want to just get your armor upgrade and then head to Kakara, you can do that. Oh, um, here's some, uh... What are these guys called? I think they're shell blasts or something. They're a little bit tricky to kill, but they are susceptible to being ballooned. Yep, shell blasts. If you can balloon them, it makes them all the more easier. All the more easier. <laughs> and I think we have some other new enemies in this screen. Some really, really annoying enemies. Take care of those howlers. Yeah, we got pebbles here. For this ice area here in this game, it's one of the best ever, I think. I mean, so the music's so serene. Colors are really pretty. Seems like such a nice area. Yeah, there's the uh, new enemies, those cloud guys. They're completely immune to physical attacks, so the only way to take them out is magic, and you really don't want to make, waste your MP on those guys, so just ignore them. <coughs> wow, that hurt. <laughs> okay, let's heal up from that. Um, yeah, just me. Just you. Ugh, lucky he didn't critical me again. Okay, I don't care about those pebblers. Alright. Yeah, one more howler. Kill it for posterity. Ow. You jerk. And here we have... I think this is our first pallet swap boss. It is the Boreal Face. Let's use Analyzer on it. It has 1100 HP, 12 MP, and... It's not weak to anything. Yep, it has no elemental weakness, so... Magic won't do a whole lot on it. Might try using spells. See if they do any reasonable damage. No, I don't think they do. There he is. Let's use uh let's use gem missile. Forty-nine? Ouch. About the save my physical attack. Okay, let's try Air Blast. 38. Yeesh. That's not good. Okay, let's try Indian. Eighty. Eighty, not bad. 
still not really worth it. I don't think atta attacking that plant there is really going to do anything. I don't think the boreal face takes damage. Alright, let's start charging up and unleashing some charge attacks here. 120, that's nice. It's over 10% of his HP. Let's try and DNA again. Or not. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should... Yeah, healing up is more important. 27? Yeesh, that sucks. Oh, I missed. Oh, there's Burst. Is that the first time we've seen this? I forget. But a burst is a dryad spell. Not really that useful at all. I need to heal up again soon. Oh, and I missed! Yeah, freeze him again. Or don't. <laughs> there we go. Try charging up again. There we go. 88. Pretty good. Be almost dead. This guy's not too hard, it just requires a lot of patience. Okay, let's charge up again. Maybe this will do it. Come on! Yes! He's gone. Ooh, we level up. Orb. And this must be the tropical paradise people were talking about in Toto. And why it was warming up, I guess. Let's see, what do you have to say? It's hot even when it's snowing. It must be nice. Looks like this place is full of rich snobs. Gold City, huh? We'll have to visit there sometime. It's in to the second home here. Well, ooh la -de da Aren't we so rich? Yet everybody here wears the exact same clothes as everybody else in the rest of the world. Uh-oh. Not these guys. Something fishy's going on here. We're gonna find out what. gonna be gorgeous here. Money's better than mana. Oh, I don't know about that. Let's see who you come crying to when mana's all gone, huh? Uh, yeah, we have met before. <laughs> How did, these guys, how did these incompetent guys steal the water seed? Hmm, something going on in that furnace there. Some clanging going on. Ah, uh, yeah, let's open it. Here we have Salamando, fire elemental. 
kind of an unexpected place to find him, but we get his powers. All right. Yeah, you didn't recognize us, dummies. So I guess we are looking for the Fire Palace Seed, even though we weren't really directed to come here. Oh well. Uh, next time we will continue on further through the ice place.